The pound-for-pound rating Terrence Crawford has finally decided on the date of his return to the ring, as well as his future opponent. On August 3rd, the conqueror of three weight categories will make his debut in the super welterweight. And he will be challenging the WBA title holder from Uzbekistan, Israel Madramov. Let's take a closer look at the future opponent of the formidable American. What makes the 29-year-old Uzbek stand out? First of all, solid hand speed and excellent footwork. Israel has an impressive variety of blows and is great at changing stances during the fight, confusing his opponent. Most often, he prefers to work as number one, and you can't be lazy in the ring against Madrimov. The guy has a powerful, well-placed punch, as his record eloquently demonstrates. In the professional ring, the 2017 Asian champion had 11 fights, 10 of which he won, and one ended in a draw. Moreover, seven opponents of the Uzbek boxer never heard the final gong. But in the boxing education of the undoubtedly gifted fighter, not everything is perfect. Sometimes Israel acts too sweepingly, and his defensive skills are noticeably inferior to his attacking ones which in a fight against a well-trained technical boxer can result in serious problems. His debut in the professional ring was in November of 2018, when Israel tore to pieces the strong but quite average boxer from Mexico, Vladimir Hernandez, in six rounds. Royal, 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 Royal. This prospect's next fight was even more impressive. In March of 2019, Madrimov fought Venezuelan puncher Frank Rojas, terribly knocking him out in the second round. The Latino left the ring on a stretcher. Now when he goes lefty here, it opens up the right hand for Rojas possibility. Watch the feet, warning for Madrimo. Lead foot of your opponent. That is Madrimo is succeeding at doing here. That's giving him the angles to score and do more. How do you like that? He switches southpaw and drops. Frank Rojas drops him badly. Question is, does my dream off think it's time to gamble? Oh, that's two nice shots and a good right hand. Good up for putting it in, and it is. Look at what he did in about 20 seconds. He landed a right hand, a left hook, which really was the stopper. 156, the double. That's a highlight pack. The side did. Rojas hit his, that is a concern. Until the end of 2019, the Uzbek boxer had two more fights. First, he defeated the experienced journeyman Norberto Gonzalez in six rounds, and the strong Alejandro Barrera was forced to capitulate already in the fifth round. I like those body shots. Instead of the left, he's gonna have a straight left hand. There by Madrimov, that caught Gonzalez's attention. It seems like this might be the round that Gonzalez goes down, but that was no, they don't like what they're seeing, but apparently Marcos Rodriguez in Gonzalez's corner is the only one that likes what he's seeing. Oh, good he's encouraging uppercut. his man. Good uppercut. Gonzalez not. Blood now pouring out. Name some Olympic champs. Dream off appears to us too much. A buck shot. Gonzalez come up. They may stop it here. And Matrima exercises the demon and manages his gymnastics brown. Sometimes he some outside the corner to sit fighter, and that man was shot. The following year, this guy raised the level of opposition, for which he was more than ready. In February of 2020, Israel took on the highly experienced Charlie Navarro from Venezuela, who had unsuccessfully challenged the world title twice. Experience against young enthusiasm managed to hold out only until the sixth round. Thank you. That straight right hand right there. He's setting him up for an over. That's what I saw. He did beat a previously unbeaten Johan Gonzalez in an 11 round split decision. He beat another undefeated fighter right before that in Daniel Rodriguez. So he's coming off two undefeated wins. Now he has the third. Dream off going in saying, no, this guy's turned his back. Something is with his eye. I can wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get rounds. I'm going to knock this guy out, but I want to do a blistering right hand. Dynamite fight. Even Jarrett Hurd, who's you know high level. And, and not only that, Brian, but you know whenever you get to the championship level, you know that you're not going to get mesmerized and hypnotized by the footwork. You know a jab to the chest is going to stop that. Double and triple up the jabs to the chest and the body. That's how he slowed down. He's not letting him think. He's letting him. He, he's baiting him with feints. Feints are keeping Navarro from punching right here. Oh, good hard body shot, and down goes Navarro. Brutal body shot by Madrima. I don't think he's getting up just by the 
facial expression of Varro, and he's up. Now, Varro's in pain. He's in pain, but he's very game. He steps back, he steps back up, and right back into the line of fire. Madrimov again, Navarro down again, and it is being waved off. Rafael Ramos has seen enough, and a big backflip by the Dream, and his fifth professional win, and his fifth knockout. The end was near, and Madrimov closed the show. I mean, that was... And six months later, our hero of our video confidently, although not without problems, passed the strong American Eric Walker. For the first time in his career, Madrimov failed to finish the fight by knockout, getting a convincing victory by unanimous decision of the judges. Twice 116 to 110 and 116 to 111. That'd be five to three, a huge oh, lift. Man. They're gonna call that was a, a knock slip. Todd, that was a knockdown. That caught him right on the chin. That's a bad call by the referee. Walker's hurt. That's a knockdown. The referee has called it a slip. Walker's still standing. That was a hellacious left hand he ate to the dig in every single shot to the body. Like I said, what awaits us here in round 12? A point deduction from a dream off. And that right hand clipped him and sent him down. Is that a knockdown? You never know with this guy. Yes, it is. That's all heart right there, Ty. So kudos to Walker for going the distance with Madrimov suffering a, an official knockdown here in the 12th, an unofficial one in the 9th. Having destroyed the undefeated Congolese Emeni Colombo on points in the spring of 2021, the talented young man had another leap in quality of his opponents. On December 17th, in his native Uzbekistan, Israel entered the ring against the seasoned Frenchman Michel Soro, who in the recent past held the title of interim world champion. The first half of the fight turned out to be extremely equal and stubborn, and the initiative alternately passed from one fighter to another. Slid out of the pocket. It's a couple of times he's landed, tried to. Soro looks in this fourth round as if he's decided, right, let's uh, attention. Needs more of that now, Soro. Doesn't need to be taking one like that, though. A big right hand comes back from the dream off who immediately turns the tables on him. But in the second half of the fight, the superiority of Madrimov began to emerge, who in the ninth round forced the referee to stop the fight when he was beating the stunned Frenchman at the ropes. Madrimov going for it, ripping him open, and he's in serious trouble. He's waving it off as he stopped it. But there was a mistake by the referee. This episode occurred after the gong for a break, which was missed by the third in the ring. A rematch was scheduled for July of 2022. In the rematch, the fighter from Uzbekistan dominated from the very start of the fight and would probably have got a knockout victory. But an accidental clash of heads in the third round led to a severe cut on the veteran from France. According to the rules, a technical draw was declared. Diaz working in the past with the likes of Timothy Bradley and Lucas Matisse. And already we're seeing how closely contested that first fight was. Tries to gradually up the tempo. Barely attacks. Yes, this the 40th professional contest. And blood is seeping from the eye of Michel Soro after a clash of heads. Right at the start of this the third round. And that looks bad. We can't quite see it from here, but very soon we will be able to see it. And that is a savagely bad cut. Israel's last appearance in the ring took place on March 8th of this year, in which he won the vacant WBA title in the up to 154 pound category. He was opposed by the unbeaten Russian Magomed Kurbanov, who got an extremely controversial victory over his old acquaintance Mikhail Soro. The fact that Kurbanov did not deserve a title chance was clearly demonstrated by Madrimov, who smashed his opponent to smithereens and celebrated a knockout victory in the fifth round. The fight took place in Riyadh on the undercard of the Anthony Joshua Francis Ngannou fight. The organizers liked the bright boxing style by Israel. The guy was given the keys to a Chevy Tahoe with the inscription, gift from the president. There's that left hook terms. Kuvanov just looking to, there again, just tucking up. Uh, he's uh, landing the better shots. Kuvanov, so you say the fight could start slipping away. Kuvanov really needs to sort of have a big round here to, to get himself into the fight. For Kuvanov, and he's going to have to do some serious work in the remaining eight. More mature performance from Madrimov. More. As, as probably 
buzz and even hurt. And, and at this point as well, I don't think he really respects Kerbinov. He hasn't. There's nothing coming back at him. He's, he's in trouble here, Kerbinov. The right hand's coming through. It's decent. The somersault in the ring. The double flip there from Israel Madrimov. And that was a good one. Those shots, didn't he? And started to punish him a bit. And then just wouldn't let him up in the good. eye there. And that was a very, very from Israel Madrimov. Efficient's the right word. He was measured. He was mature, calculated. Um, by the start of that round, I think you could tell that uh, Madrimov had sort of made up his mind. Oh, no really, didn't he, for a few rounds. He had a good look at him and then just stepped on him in that fifth. And when, and when the finish came... Ladies and gentlemen... Will the talented native of Kiva be able to create an upset in August by dethroning the current king of professional boxing, Terence Crawford? This author's opinion is unequivocal, no. But in any case, in March, one important detail became finally clear. In the talent-rich light middleweight division, Beats by Terrell.